Hi Virgo, welcome to your reading. If you are new here and don't want to miss the daily tarot readings, you can subscribe now by clicking the red button below this video. This is a general love reading, so it may or may not resonate with all of you. At the end of this video, if you are interested, I will also record an extended reading to know more specific details on their feelings and intentions for you at this moment. Now let's start with your reading and let's shuffle four times. Now let's see what is the overall energy. Seven of Wands being guarded, not trusting each other and uh, not being vulnerable, not feeling easy talking to each other. Now let's see the other cards for more details. First we will see what happened in the past and why it all happened, then there are possible actions towards you, if any, at the end of this reading. Now let's see about the past. There may have been some rapid communication that happened in the past between both of you, but someone was being very indecisive there. Very, very indecisive. For some of you also, uh, the long distance may have been a challenging factor and the indecision of the other person or one of the partners. Eight of Wands and the Two of Wands. Now let's see about what is affecting you in your subconscious that you may not be aware of, even though I think you are aware of, is the Eight of Swords. You feel stressed, anxious, and not knowing what solution to give to this situation. How you view this situation is the Knight of Cups in the reverse. You don't expect them to express any feelings to you. You don't expect communication from them. Now let's see what are the current energies. King of Wands and the Seven of Cups in the reverse. Now you have clarity. You have clarity about the situation that you have uh, a strong attraction for. You have a strong attraction for this person still. And I think you want to be with them. Because you still feel the connection deeply. Now let's see what is something you want to avoid and your hope there. The Eight of Swords and the Hierophant. Now, for from whatever connection, this one uh, with a past person or a completely new connection, you want commitment now. You want to be serious. You don't want anything casual. What you want to avoid is this overthinking. It is uh, becoming too much. Here it is again. Uh, what you want to avoid and what is affecting you in your subconscious is this uh, stress and worry, constant stress and worry about that past situation. Now let's see what is happening with this person that is on your mind. They have the Ten of Pentacles. I think financially they are doing very good. But let's see about the situation with you. Let's see more details. Why the Ten of Pentacles? Nine of Wands in the reverse. Nine of Cups. And the Tower. Six of Cups in the reverse. Uh, this person has attraction for you, but they put the blame on you about why you departed. Why the connection was broken. Now they are thinking about long term. They want to open up and tell you that they think about you now long term. They want to be serious. And that their wish is to be with you. This will come very unexpected to you. If they take action upon this energy. Now let's see if they will. The lovers. I think they may because... Now they feel the attraction and the connection more than when they were with you. Let's clarify why the lovers. The death. You may be dealing with a Gemini or Scorpio. I have also Taurus. 
uh, Scorpio again. Yes. Ace of Swords. And the Knight of Wands. They want to tell you that after the connection ended, uh, they don't want to think about that ending or what challenge made that ending happen. They want to restart. And they want to be now 100% honest and clear with you uh, that they still have the attraction and they want to be uh, together with you. They want to try one more time. At the bottom is the wheel of fortune in the reverse. Yes, they want to manifest that connection. They want to end the drama, even though it is a bit challenging to make it happen. Because it needs clear conversation conversation clear and honest conversation from both partners but yes I think they will take action they will talk and they will tell you that they want a complete new cycle with you now they want to forget what happened in the past now they want to restart it I will continue this reading in the extended where I want to view more about the energies of this spread. How does your person feel now? How do they view you now? What are their intentions? I will see all those topics very uh, in a short, concise way. And also, what are the energies of the connection? And also the energies around each one of you. If you want to watch the extended, you can find it in the description box below. See you the next reading and bye for now.